Hey, 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 HB Hot Rod News, I'm Dano. This is Mel Craig, and Mel Craig's got one of his buddies here. Mel, tell me about your buddy. Well, I, I do not need, uh, I don't think Rennie needs an introduction. Oh, yeah, Rennie right, Doyle, right, I mean, come on. Right. What do I have to say? Do I introduce you? Put one ugly, one ugly dude, man, that's it, that's yeah, it. We, we both, we've been kicking around the industry for a long time. Obviously, he's here every single year, and uh, master trainer, master technician, master of disaster, you name it, he's the master. Well, you know what, we uh, guys like us paid the price back in the day. Yeah, we did, yeah. We were detailing when it was actually hard. Yeah. Right? I yeah, mean, you know, one machine. Yeah, exactly, one pad, pad you know. And no big, cell phone. Yeah, big, a big, a big, yeah, this big. big and, oh, Randy, I don't know, I can't find any cars. We're yeah, like, oh yeah, my yeah. God. Right, right, come on, you know, man. Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and cell phones and, That's oh it. my God, it's amazing. That's it. That's and it. I, I just left the Rupert's booth and we were just talking, because Dan was in the business two five years ago, thinking about, growing in the industry and not having such an amazing selection of tools. In fact, I'm gonna say this because I really yeah, want people to hear. I watched one of your um, Facebook videos. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah, did yeah. about a week ago, a couple weeks ago maybe. It was a real quick one, you were driving in your car and you said, look, you wanna be successful in auto detail in a car. Start thinking business. That's it. Because you can't, it's like Bob when he started telling me about how he grew auto detail. If you don't think business first, Anybody can clean a car. That's Give it, it enough time. Gosh, you know, my daughter details that's right. It. She, that's it. Anybody can clean a car, but making money doing it. There you go. Yeah. These yep. guys are spending four, five, six, seven hours, like your video said. I've been there. You and I have both that's it. Yeah. And I, my heart goes out to them because they're pouring their soul into this, not realizing that they're giving the, they're giving everything away without without upselling, without doing anything. It's a race to the bottom. You know, they're yeah. losing they're losing the race and they don't even know it, you know, and it's it's, we, we, we mentioned a working, and you're, you're an entrepreneur. There's a big difference between, listen, I'm passionate about it. You're passionate about detail. You don't stick around it as long as we have. You know, Mike Phillips is right here. You don't stick around it as long as we have and not love it. You yeah. get that part, but if you're addicted to shine, I'm addicted to the money. That's it. I it's got about, four kids. And I bottom say, line is, hey, I'm in business to make a profit. I got four kids. They like Nikes. Nikes are expensive. Swish on both sides. That's exactly <laughs> it. Man. And you know what? You can't be broke and, and provide. Uh, Guys like us, you know, we've, we've, we've made investments in our kids, our families, real estate, all this and that. You got to think. You got to think outside the box. And you know what? Always. Your addiction to shine is one thing. Good you know, tip. Work on your business, not in, in your business. business. Yeah. yeah, that's key to it. That's key. You know what? We we paved the road. You look at um, you, you look, I, I hear the story. Bob's not gonna like this. I remember when Bob from Flex would tell me that he remembers when Bob from Audi was selling out of his trunk. Well, I believe the trunk or oh yeah. So that's you know, and we're sitting at his booth right now, and you look at the size of his booth. This didn't happen by accident. Look what he's done. That's exactly it. Yeah. So you look at the name. Anytime you're associated with the name, don't break the brand. Right? Don't break the brand. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. I talked to a young man today. He's 40 years old. And he goes, how am I going to get to, to your level in the next couple of years? And I said, the answer is not. And I said, you know, I took and got, talked to Carol Shelby. Me, Carol Shelby, about five years ago. And I said, you know, Carol, I just turned 45. Uh, I'm a little worried about what I'm going to do as I age. I'm getting up to an age where I'm concerned. And he goes, how old are you, son? And I went, 45. And he goes, son, you're still retarded. Yeah. And he says, when you hit 50, you're going to start hitting your stride. When you hit 60, you're going to make a lot of money. When you hit 70, you're going to wish you were 50. Yeah, go back, yeah. And that was Carol Shelby, man. Yeah. And so how true is that? Very true. You know, you made another point that I really like and, and interesting enough. When I was at breakfast with a friend of mine, He's teaching his son the construction business. Well, I come from a brother, I come from five brothers. Three of my brothers in construction, me and my other two brothers in detail. And interesting enough, when this, this young man looks at me and he says, Mel, and, and, and Dan, his dad says, what can you tell him to make him understand what, you know, what he's got to look forward to in business and how he's gonna grow it? He said, I said, first off, let me ask you one question. Are you passionate about what you do? He says, yes, I love construction, I love what I'm doing. I said, one day you want to be like your dad. And said, you never will. And he says, what do you mean? I'm learning from him. I says, but your dad has done things in an industry that he's grown with. Back in the day, he used to hold the nails in his hands, shake them between his fingers, and do roofing like that. You've never experienced that. Right. And you never will because it doesn't exist anymore. Right, right. right. And now you use a nail gun. So your dad has so much more wisdom. It's like Rennie and Mel. That's it. We have yeah, so many things it. that we've grown through that we can't teach you all that because 
we don't do that point. anymore. We, we don't point. we don't have that anymore, but we learn from it. That's it. And our level of experience has skyrocketed because of it. That's what's given us the ability to teach, train, motivate, That's and show people that there is a career. But we we, we have so much that that, that doesn't exist anymore. When I walked away from rivers, I'm going, God dang. You know, we never had that one inch, two inch, three inch. No. I mean, we had 14 inches. We had inch fingertips. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's what washed. That's, that's, yeah. wash. yeah. that's what cleaned it up. That's what detailed it. Yeah. You know, that's a great point because you look at the old, like, you know, we're, we're car guys. We don't, do, again, you don't, you don't get to our level if you're not a car guy, if you're not passionate, like you just said. You look at the drivers. I've got a good friend of mine that's, a, that's an old, he's a driver. He learned to drive. There was no power steering. There was no high performance tires. There, there was no automatics. There was no dual clutches. There was no paddle shifters. It, the cars were hard to drive. And the reason why he can still outperform me in the driver's seat is because he learned the hard way. You grew up it. You grew up exactly what I just said. And so the young people that are out there, if they don't get mentored from guys like us, just like we got mentored from the old school guys, if you don't get hardened by guys like us, then listen, we're going to beat the shit out of you. We're it's not going to be. We're not going to be gentle. Sorry, oh, Mel. You're kind of yelling no. at me. Real shit. We got to get this done. That's man. exactly. We it. got a job to I'm do. I'm stressed. Don't get stressed all you want because until you get stressed, you're not going to. You're not going to grow through it. You got to push through the pain. And that's a lot of people. Jim Dogan, one of my own. If you know Jim Dogan, long time detail out of the Boston area. He's been at 30, 30th anniversary right now. He he says it best. He says people quit too soon. Yeah. They give up right they before do. the well starts producing. That's exactly and they walk it. away from it and it's over. That's it's like, it. If you would have just pumped a few more pumps, the we water would have started flowing. It. It's just like a lemon. If you pull a lemon off the, the lemon tree before it's ripe and ready, that lemonade is going to taste like crap. But if you wait until it's ready, you're going to get a lot of squeeze out of that lemon. I tell you what, if business was easy, everyone would do it. That's exactly and it wouldn't be any money. That's exactly. We're speaking with Randy Doyle here at 2016. SEMA, by the way, 50th anniversary. We're here. Cool. That's it, man. Brother, good seeing you, man. Good seeing you. Daniel, good seeing you, man. Good, good seeing you, man. There you have it. Daniel live for HB Hot Rod News in the house with the boys of the detail background. We rock. Yeah, right on, man. Right on. Daniel, thank you, brother. Good to meet you. Hello. Good seeing you.